Do you know what bowling and the band Bowling for Soup have in common? They both make me want to kill myself. <laughs> Now, I've bowled a lot in this lifetime. I was basically an only child, so my parents took me bowling a lot. Basically an only child, I mean, that makes it sound like I have a, a sister who died, but still haunted us, so you know. Sometimes there. They liked bowling. My dad was really good at it, so you know, we just went bowling a lot. And one of those times we went bowling, I was a little guy. I was really little, you know, like, uh... We still had the bumpers up, so I was probably 19 years old. <laughs> no, I was a child. And uh, there was another family there, like, you know, bowling with us uh, as a group. And so it was me and one other little boy. This little boy, I remember he looked me dead in the eye and was like, what are you ding ding dat dang? And, you know, it's the ball return, you know. Shh, but we're little. He didn't know what the fuck that was. He's like, I bet there's monsters in there. And so all night, this kid was just fucking fascinated with it. I could not care less. And uh, maybe I should have told an adult about this child's obsession with the ball return machine, but I didn't. And then uh, the kid told me, I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> so I watched this stupid little fucker just run right up to that ball return thing and fucking shove his hand in there. There's a lot of turning gears in there. This kid started screeching at the top of his lungs. His parents came over, grabbed him. This dude's fingertip was like gone. Like, that part of the finger was gone. Fucking ripped off. Blood everywhere. I don't know if it was ripped off, but it was fucking mangled. Anyways, he's screaming, bowling alley, fucking shut down. Again, <laughs> maybe I should have said something, but that's, that is not my responsibility to keep your dumbass kid alive. That is your job. It is my job to keep my dumbass alive. But the moral of the story is, if you want an experience like shredding your hand off in a ball return, besides actually doing that, the next best thing is subscribing and liking this channel, so give that a shot. Let's go fucking bowl! Now, I'm not saying you should do this, but a bowling ball can be made to look like a woman's face. Especially if you're really lonely. Do with that information what you will. <laughs> Why is there no music in this game? <laughs> I don't even have a controller plugged in and it's telling me to press B to go back. Choose the pro bowler you want to play as. Oh my god, the legendary Andrew Anderson. <laughs> you know what they say, Tommy Jones is the bad boy of PBA. Is there like one that's more expensive than the others? <laughs> Look at Kyle Troop. <laughs> Stuart Williams, an athlete. Who's the guy that's like, uh, do you know who the hell I am? Pete Weber. Is Pete in this game? How do they not have Pete Weber? All right, fuck it. We're going to be Kyle Troop. Pay out 150 tickets. God damn, dude, we're doing this at a Dave and Buster's. All right, look at that afro. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at my guy. Oh my god, this is like a full house. We'll generally pick this one up. I don't know, man. Have you seen how I bowl? Oh yeah, this is easy. Oh my god. A spare. Fuck with me. Oh no. Wide on that one. This is like the worst case scenario for me right now. See how they approach this. Fuck it, just go for the one. Okay. No, why are you booing me? It's a split. You come down here and you do that. Oh my god, dude. I I suck. I'm leaving some pins up. Should be interesting. Fuck you, announcer. Why are you booing? It's impossible to get these. Oh man. Nothing is going right, and you can see the frustration. You can? Are you in my home? Alright, we're just gonna go the method I usually do. When I bowl. Yeah, that's about right. My technique, you know. There's different stances in the art of bowling. My technique is, uh, the rotator cuff destroyer. It's a very powerful ninjutsu. Every time I roll that fucking ball, I do great damage to myself in return. I take the heaviest ball that I can handle, because I got small wrists. I, I can't pick up like a, well, you know, a big ball. I'm not a big boy. I'm a little boy when it comes to bowling. So I pick up the heaviest ball my little wrist can muster, There's a nine count. and I just aim right down. Oh my god, my guy has a tattoo. He's actually the bad boy of bowling. 
I am right in between that middle pin and that first one on the right. And I just fucking throw that fucker as hard as I can. And it, it, you know, I either get a strike or I get a gutter ball just because of sheer power. And then the damage done to my rotator cuff is great. I mean, you know, I can go about two rounds. That third round, my first round's a warm-up round. Uh, I'll, I'll bowl like a, a 100. That second round comes around. The best I've ever done was a 220. I, I got four strikes in a row. I got a turkey plus one. And then that third round, though, I will bowl like a 53. <laughs> like, I am just shot. The cannon is out of commission. It's happening. Rob, it's simple. Lack of focus and concentration. Oh, fuck you. This is my first time ever bowling. What's going on? It's like this guy's never played this fucking game before. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Yeah, just a little wide that time. Like your wife. <laughs> Get shit on, nerd. Nice. Easy conversion there. Easy conversion. I don't know how to get a strike. Oh my god! Last one! Throw up the X, baby! God damn, my boy's hyped. Look at that. Oh my god, I unlocked the pinball. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Oh my god, the Viper. That brings us to the end of oh, another no. night of outstanding I want a trophy. We'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in. How many Dave and Buster tickets I got? I got second place, so I got 75 tickets. Wow. <laughs> Honey, this bowling career of mine's finally paying off. I have 50,000 tickets to Dave and Buster's. Oh, that's that's great, sweetie. Uh, you know, uh, uh, is that gonna help us buy food? Do you know how much fucking candy we can buy? <laughs> candy is so cheap at the Dave and Buster's. You gotta thank a Laffy Taffy for 75 tickets. <laughs> I'm a fucking provider. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a good one. Boom! Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, easy. I must be bananas, because that was a split. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this how pro bowlers talk shit? Oh, that's money. Oh my god, I called my shot! We'll see what happens here. Oh my god! I am a god! For us, folks. We appreciate you joining Fifth pl oh, League Night Hometown. I'm a professional. <laughs> and people at my own hometown still beat me. These guys aren't even pros. These are just dudes. <laughs> These are dudes who are just, you know, here. Just, you know, I got a day job. <laughs> you know that does not bode well for your career. Lim, you are a professional. You're at league night and you get fifth place. <laughs> you got beat by Dave who works down at State Farm. Honey, I'm gonna make a career out of this, I promise. Honey, you can't you can't even beat our kid's third grade teacher. You wanna go out there and play against Tiger Woods? He bowls, I bet. I think the pressure is really starting to have an effect. The only pressure I see is from your mom. Oh! Every time I make a mom joke. Or a wife joke, I get like good points. Oh yeah, that's money right there. Oh come on! I like how there's a guy in the crowd who is wearing a fedora. <laughs> like of course there is. I had a babysitter who uh, was a bowling family. It was an old lady, she like uh, did a daycare and she had a daughter who was in my grade. And every time it thundered and lightened, she would tell me, you know what that thunder is? That's God hitting a strike. <laughs> Don't raise your children in the Midwest. <laughs> it's the worst thing you could do to someone is raising a child in the Midwest. Maybe in the South is worse, but good God. Oh my God. Maybe that that's just God hitting a strike. I know he gave your grandma terminal brain cancer, but... <laughs> 
Only God can get a turkey every time. God doesn't need three chances to get a turkey. He only needs one. That dang old Lucifer tries to give God a 7-10 split. Jesus, God, God picks it up every damn time. That Lucifer, he couldn't hit a 10 pitch straight down the middle. <laughs> That's a new character. No <laughs> Southern Baptist Bowler. <laughs> First place, Southern Baptist Bowler wins. Now, I'm not saying I agree with your lifestyle, but I'm just saying God intended for the ball to go down the lanes, not the gutter ball. Look, honey, I know you say you're a, a bowling ball, but you were born a bowling pin. You can't just change what you identify as. That's okay. God's going to forgive you. I ain't, but God might. Now, just come on down to the Southern Baptist Bowling Alley. <laughs> we get strikes for Jesus. I got Leviticus 315 written in my ball. <laughs> it's Leviticus 315 something. <laughs> I have no idea. Oil off? What is this? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck does oil do? If God didn't want us to use fossil fuels, he wouldn't have killed all them damn dinosaurs, huh? The, the devil put dinosaur bones on Earth to deceit human into thinking the Earth is much older than it really is. The Earth is only about 4,000 years old, and Bolin was invented 4,001 years ago. Bolin is life. Oh my God. Unlikely to convert this one? You probably shouldn't have left it. Fuck you. Dude, no one knows what's going on when they bowl. It's all luck. Three games, 14 bowlers, one condom. It's either fucked or be fucked. Well, what the fuck are these? What? What is this? The bomb explodes on impact, delivering a guaranteed strike as long as you hit a pin? Why the fuck did I use that ever? <laughs> what? How you start? Struck in the last why would that be an option? This game's like, here you go, here's some fucking balls where <laughs> you even look at it and they'll fucking charge the pins with a hate crime. All right, now that's more my style. Let me earn this shit, you know? God has abandoned me. He left me open. A horrible split. Unfortunately, I've had to sell my soul to the devil. Oh, what? You have to wait 30 minutes for the bomb? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Jesus, my wife says she's going to fucking leave me if I don't get this strike. Lord, you have not listened to me. I'm going to the devil. Help me, Lucifer. Help me. <laughs> did that guy's ball just split into two?